Hey, it's Matt from Practice Perfect. Welcome back to the Accelerated Learning Center. Today we're going to talk about how to set up TELUS eClaims processing from within Practice Perfect. Let's get started. Step 1. Practice Perfect is eClaims enabled, but there are a few things which must be set up before you can begin submitting claims directly to TELUS Health from Practice Perfect. To begin, it is necessary for you to register for TELUS Health eClaims on their website. To sign up for TELUS Health eClaims, please visit www.teluschealth.co slash eclaims. TELUS Tier 2 support will also provide you with something called the Provider Spreadsheet. This Excel document contains some important information that you'll need to know for setup. To obtain the spreadsheet, contact TELUS Health at 1-888-709-8759 and speak to one of their support representatives. Let them know that you're a Practice Perfect user and you need to get a hold of your provider spreadsheet. Please note that you must be using the most up-to-date version of Practice Perfect, version 474 or above, to submit claims to TELUS or perform this setup. Step two, if you're already registered for eClaims, begin by selecting settings and then TELUS Health Invoice Settings from the menu bar at the top of your screen. The following panel will appear. This panel is comprised of four tabs, General, Fees, Providers, and Payers. Please note that most of the setup will take place in the General, Providers, and Payers tabs. Let's start with the General tab. The Location column on the left-hand side of the screen contains a list of all your office locations. The fields in the General tab will need to be set up per office location. Begin by entering your facility number for this location. Your facility number is a unique number assigned by us at Practice Perfect. Please contact our support department to obtain your unique facility number. Your CPR provider ID is assigned by eClaims after registering for an account. This can be found in the provider spreadsheet provided by TELUS. Input that ID here. This field may be left blank if you are setting up an individual provider. Then input the work location ID. Like above, this will also be assigned by eClaims after you've registered for an account. This can also be found in the provider spreadsheet provided by TELUS. This field may be left blank if you are setting up an individual provider. eClaims username and eClaims password are also assigned by TELUS Health after registering on their website. This is basically the login information that you'd use when submitting eClaims to TELUS from their website. In language, select English or French. Please note that Practice Perfect only supports English at the moment. And in Organization Role, identify whether you're setting up a clinic or an individual provider. This would have also been determined by TELUS. Again, this must be set up for each location that you'll be submitting eClaims from. Step 3. Now let's click through to the Fees tab. This contains a full list of all the fee codes in your system. TELUS requires a special set of fee codes to be used in order to communicate which services were performed. For example, 2.zz.02 is an assessment. A list of these codes can be accessed by clicking the following annotation here. Internally, you can use whatever fee codes you like. However, externally, TELUS needs to see their special fee codes. They do not see your fee descriptions at all. The matching of your internal fee codes to TELUS's external fee codes is what the fee code tab is used for. We've also preloaded a bunch of new fee codes for you that you can choose to use or discard. They all start with TEL and can be found by selecting housekeeping, financial, and then fee codes. If you do choose to use the fee codes that we've supplied, please make sure to set up all of your specific fee rates and descriptions. 
the TELUS feed type and TELUS code should contain the corresponding information that TELUS requires for each of your fee codes. For example, your fee code may be PhysioAx for a physiotherapy assessment. The TELUS code column should therefore contain 2.ZZ.02 since that is the TELUS fee code for an assessment. The TELUS fee type column should almost always contain e-claims unless instructed otherwise. Please note that this matching needs to be done for any fee code that you may be sending to TELUS. Step 4. Next we'll head over to the Providers tab. This chart contains a list of all the providers in Practice Perfect. You'll need to fill out a bit of information about each of them before you can submit claims under that provider's name. First off is their CPR provider ID. This is unique to the provider and is obtained from TELUS after they register for eClaims. This can also be found in the provider spreadsheet. In the license issuer column, select the licensing body from whom the provider obtained their license. The options in this list are pre-populated. Then, select the role. The role represents the provider's profession. Step 5. Here we have the Payers tab. Like Providers, this tab contains a comprehensive list of all the payers in your system. You can see all of the payers that you have entered into Practice Perfect in the Payer Name column, followed by their location in the City column. The key column in this chart is Tell Us Help Insure. Basically, what you need to do here is match up your list of extended health payers with the name that TELUS refers to them as. We know that this is a monotonous task, but it is regulated by TELUS and only needs to be done once. The pre-populated list in the TELUS Health Insurer column contains a list of all extended health care insurers in the country. The items at the top of the list, with a star beside them, are the insurers that accept direct electronic submission to TELUS. But please note, this matching only needs to be done for the TELUS health insurers that have an asterisk beside their name in the pre-populated list. However, the rest may be disregarded. Step 6. Next, select Housekeeping, Contacts, and then Providers from the menu bar. Before you can submit e-claims, there are several fields that must be completed for each of your providers. The following fields will need to be set up per provider, their first and last name, their province, and their license number. This is the bare minimum information required for your e-claims to be successfully processed by TELUS Health. Step 7, and the last bit of setup takes place in the payer's profile. Simply set your TELUS Health payer's primary invoice style to TELUS Health Invoice. At the bare minimum, these payers need to have a province and a country filled out in the payer detail view. Afterwards, all that's left to do is set up your patients who are receiving coverage from any of these insurers. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out our other TELUS Health setup video. See you soon.